So, good morning or good evening, everyone. Good morning, Thank Emma. Welcome. Thank you all for being with us. We warmly welcome our speakers who are joining us from the Northeast Asia region. Welcome, all of you. On the way towards the CBF Plenary Assembly today, we will present the reality and future perspectives of the CBF Northeast Asia region in the interventions of some representatives of the institutions that compose it. All of them are committed to witnessing a focus on biblical formation and biblical animation of pastoral care in this area of the world. But before we start, please let me uh, inform our uh, audience that they can pose questions on the line and then our speakers at the end, they will uh, reply to, uh, to these uh, questions. So to start our session, I'm honored to present our speakers from Hong Kong. Our uh, first speaker is Miss Yvonne Louis, member of the Hong Kong Catholic Biblical Association. And then Reverend Joseph Fung Cheo, Hong Kong diocesan priest. He is a previous diocesan director of Hong Kong Catholic Biblical Association. He is the coordinator of United Ch Chinese Catholic Biblical Association, and he has over 30 years of pastoral ministry at different parishes in Hong Kong. Then there will be uh, Mr. Daniel Chang, Hong Kong Catholic Biblical Association. He's treasurer of Hong Kong Catholic Biblical Association. Uh, St. Teresa Church lecturer since 2009. He got a diploma in catechism teaching in a diocesan uh, catechetical center of Hong Kong. He got a master science of, man of financial management in the Chinese University of Hong Kong and a master of business administration in the Chinese University of Hong Kong. The follower will be Miss Joyce Yu. Uh, catechetical center in Hong Kong and a master of business administration in uh, American Central uh, University. The, um, these are our speakers from Hong Kong. So I give the floor to Miss Yvonne. Uh, Thank you, Amma. To present the region. Thank you. Thank you, Amma. Yeah, I'm joining it actually as a helper to our regional um, coordinator, Father Peter Low. Um, Father Peter Low, who is the uh, director of the uh, Biblical Association of Hong Kong, he's also the regional coordinator. Uh, unfortunately, he cannot join us this evening uh, with great regret because he has an urgent meeting from the characters. So he could not be with us. So I'm doing, you know, the introduction work for him. Uh, I'd like to first introduce the member uh, associations within the Northeast Asia. Uh, within uh, Northeast Asia, we have uh, Hong Kong. Uh, we have uh, Taiwan. We have Japan and Korea as our country or regional units. And within each um, country or region, we have different biblical uh, associations. So um, uh, within Hong Kong, beside the, uh, the, the diocese representative is the Catholic Biblical Association of Hong Kong, of which you know, Father Peter Law I just introduced is our director. And then um, beside um, HKCBA, we also have UCCBA, United Chinese Catholic Biblical Association, which in itself is uh, uh, also a cross uh, country uh, uh, coordination uh, association, which I will leave uh, the details to Father Joseph Fong in a sec to tell us more about that. 
And then within Hong Kong, beside HKCBA, UCCBA, we also have the publisher of our Chinese Bible, which is the uh, Studium Rubicum Franciscum. Um, uh, we have this beloved organization being um, originated by uh, our beloved Blessed Allegra. Uh, and then besides SBF, we also have the Pastoral uh, Bible Foundation, uh, uh, with us, uh, but SBF and uh, Pastoral uh, Bible Foundation could not join us today. So the above are the units within Hong Kong. Then I'd like to introduce our representatives from Japan. Um, from Japan, we have the Association of the 100 Weeks Bible Groups. Uh, unfortunately, they cannot join us today. Uh, then I'll go to Korea. Korea, we have the bishop's uh, representative, which is the biblical committee of the Catholic uh, Bishops Conference of Korea. Um, their current representative is uh, Father Park. However, Father Park has a clash in scheduled and also could not join us today. Uh, within Korea, I'd also like to introduce other friends uh, like the uh, Catholic Bible Life uh, Movement, the Diocese of Chanju, and the uh, um, St. Paul's uh, Sisters uh, Bible Education Center, and also the Correspondence of Bible Institute, Daughters of St. Paul. So um, also with um, uh, great regret, they cannot join us with uh, due to schedule clash. Um, then uh, we'll be uh, very happy that we have um, the uh, bishop's representative with us from Taiwan. So which, you know, Father Taxis and Teresa is with us. I'll leave, um, uh, leave, leave it to them to introduce to us more about their association. So that's, that's all from me that um, we are, we are, on, on introducing the different countries and member within each country within the um, Northeast Asia. So I'd like to, um, without further you know, uh, deter, I'd like to pass the time to uh, Joseph and Joyce, uh, who are uh, a, a, a couple within our uh, Catholic Biblical Association, who is like the, um, I like to, you know, nickname like the Zachariah and Elizabeth, <laughs> which is, you know, we read about them in our event readings. So they are, they are a couple working for the uh, Catholic Biblical Association. I'll pass the time to them to tell us about what is HKCBA doing. So uh, let us welcome Daniel and Joyce. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Yvonne. So um, uh, can we start our deck now? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, once again, uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, this is Danny Chen, the treasurer of the Hong Kong Catholic Biblical Association. And my name is Joyce Yun. I'm the secretary of the Hong Kong Cafe uh, Biblical Association. So glad to, glad be, to be here, here to, to share, share our biblical, biblical pastoral, pastoral experience, experience in, in Hong, Hong Kong. Kong. Next slide, please. Our association is following the second Vatican Council Constitution's recommendations to promote all Christians for biblical studies, founded in 1973 by Francis Yu Qingpeng and become a full member of CBF after permission from Bishop John Hu Chen Chong in 1980. All activities are supervised and governed by Catholic Diocese of Hong Kong. John, uh, Joyce, please. Yeah, please keep uh, this night. I, I could like to introduce the, for our aims. Um, uh, next slide, please. Yeah, next slide, please. Yeah, keep it. Thank you, Emma. Our aim is to uh, spread the word of God toward the public, including both uh, Christian and non-Christian under the Jesus Christ mission of uh, evangelization, especially the good news of God, which is easy to neglect 
We also facilitate the biblical studies and researches held by all parishes and schools. The last but not the least, we promote daily reading. Next slide, please. Here is what we do during the last two years. First, we pick the golden words from the daily readings and send it together with an impressed photos or picture via WhatsApp, Facebook, and VV. This is so common apps to thousands of subscribers every day. A photo can speak a thousand words. It makes subscribers have a better understanding the word of God based on the literal liturgical readings. Also, the interpretation from John Dunn's Scottus Bible Reading Promotion Center is included. Next slide, please. Second, we put a lot of Bible information in our website, as you see here. Moreover, we put many highlights from our biblical pastoral activities in our website. Next slide, please. We have uh, a cross, a uh, Bible reading 73 hours under the fig tree crosses. That is a one year course which does not need any prerequisites for the public. Provis is the theme in 2019. Uh, we invited many scholars, priests, deacons, and uh, sisters for teaching. Hundreds of students attend every year. Not only lecture is conducted, but also lecture the winner and pastoral activities are included. Next slide, please. Uh, as you can see, all students were uh, actively, actively participated in the workshop. Uh, you can see all the smiley, uh, happy faces. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Uh, yes, okay. Uh, however, all gatherings in church were put on hold by law due to pandemic situation in 2020 and 2021. However, we didn't stop doing our work. Thanks God that we are living in a digital world. The cross was still held wide soon. Parables is the theme in 2020. At the beginning, we still have concern that the environment will be affected because many elders do not know Zoom or do not have the smart, how to use the smartphone. However, we finally helped many students to resolve the technical difficulty. And finally, it is a surprise, surprise to hear that we get some positive feedbacks from students that they like the class in Zoom as they don't need to waste time on traffic and they can join the course anywhere they like. This is our second year to have the class conducted via Zoom. Next slide, please. We did not let youth down. Youth, we can take human courses was specially designed for youth. It is a one-year course, five main connected themes, liturgy, ethics, catechism, apostolic exhortations, and spirituality. So they can live on the words of God. Next night, please. About 60 students were enrolled. They are interested in the catechism course and the apostolic and uh, exhortation causes. So you see that they are all very happy gathering. And uh, in the 
left uh, top hand side, you see all the lecturers that uh, they are really spend a lot of effort uh, to uh, teamwork with uh, the youth together. And uh, we just celebrate Locust Youth uh, two years old. We and Hong Kong Diocese Auto Service Association jointly held a Fatima movie sharing activity in November. Father M was invited for sharing after the movie. Next nine. Yeah, number five, the youth biblical pastoral uh, logos logos youth is another youth activities that uh, we jointly help with other parishes, youth organizations. We can share the experience in the words of God with each other. For example, Lagos youth were invited to hold diocese, diocesan uh, youth festival in Hong Kong. We know this generation how to study Bible via the smartphone. Okay, next slide, please. Uh, during now the comfort uh, night uh, comfort uh, season, so now um, we have a uh, holder um we check red cards as the, the um as the screen show here, and we will also so uh, we have another workshop cat cards workshop, which pull our members together for the words of God, let them go for spiritually next night. So here, that is the cat cast workshop. So they are uh, really, um, 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 really got together very happily to um, sharing their spiritual um, uh, ideas. And then uh, they will uh, learn a lot of food the cat cast. Next night. So it is really valuable to have uh, our retreat just uh, how um, in this month. And uh, we also have uh, Father M and uh, the sister uh, together. So uh, the members really quite valuable of this activity and we have time to uh, join together. Okay. Uh, the last but not the least, the publication used to be our major activities in the association as well. Uh, we used to publish two books every year, but uh, because of the pandemic, we only publish one book. That is the Ring Job from Sister Maria Cole. She is very familiar, I think, in, in, in Italy. It is uh, the stories uh, about the life in pandemic. We can learn to rely on the words of God under adversity. So this is very meaningful to all of us. Okay, I think that's all our presentation for now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh. You want? Okay. Hi. Hello. Uh, sorry, I muted myself uh, by mistake. Yeah, thank you. Thank you once again, Daniel and Joyce. And um, I'd like also to uh, welcome Father Joseph, who is representative of the HKCBA. Uh, as Father Joseph just joined us, uh, would you? I, I'd like him to test his microphone first. Uh, Father Joseph, uh, would you test your microphone? Hello. Hello. Father Joseph? Feng Sanfu, hello. Hello, hello. Yeah. So it seems like there is some technical issues, Amar. Yeah. So I'd like to uh, pass it back to you first to, you know, bring on stage Taiwan. Then I'll, I'll work with uh, Father Joseph on the technical issue. Thank you, Amar. Good, good. Thanks to you, dear Yvonne. So um, unfortunately, there are uh, technical problems. So we, we, we come now to the next uh, uh, part of this session, because as you understood, all our former speakers were from Hong Kong. And now we come to our next two speakers from Taiwan. The first speaker is uh, Father... Tassis. Father Tassis. Yes, Father Tassis. <laughs> 
from the Divine World Missionaries. Uh, he is an <laughs> Indonesian missionary working in Taiwan. He got a Master of Divinity from Bellarmine Theological School, Huyen Catholic University in 1999. Uh, he got a Master in Biblical Studies from Catholic Theological Union in 2010. He was the Asia Pacific Biblical Coordination Coordinator between 2011 and 2016. He is the Coordinator of Biblical Apostolate of Divine Word Missionaries and is the National Director of Chinese Catholic Federation for the Biblical Apostolate of Taiwan, Taiwan since 2016. And the uh, other speaker is Ms. Teresa Wu. Uh, she studied at the National Cheng Yukung University, majored in history and minored in foreign languages. She has a long experience in various fields, such as sales assistant, sales section chief, project manager, marketing manager, and business manager. But she is also very active in the church. So she is the secretary of the uh, Bible section, catechesis, Committee in Taiwan Bishop Assembly since 2014. She's also the secretary of uh, Bible Association at uh, Kaohsiung Diocese starting 2005. She's the secretary of St. Paul Mission Center Kaohsiung Diocese starting 2009. She's the chair lady of the Holy Name Catholic Church in uh, Kaohsiung uh, Dioceses, lecturer of catechesis at the Holy Name Catholic Church uh, in the same diocese. Uh, she's the group leader of the Bible study at the Holy Name Catholic Church. She's coach of youth class at the Holy Name Catholic Church starting 2012. And she's the lecturer, she's a lecturer of Bible at Women's Prison costume starting 2014. I think there is some disturbance somewhere. Okay, thank you. And she is a home class tutor of uh, Wenzhou Ursuli, Ursuline University of Languages, uh, Advanced uh, Study Division starting 2014. Okay, in the next few minutes, we will be seeing a video. Uh, and after that, we will hear our two last speakers from Hong Kong. Last speakers, maybe because maybe we will be back if uh, the, we will resolve the technical problems with Father Joseph. Uh, we will be back to him after our two speakers will give us their uh, intervention. Thank you. The floor is yours. In 1974, Chairman of Chinese Bishops' Conference, Cardinal Paul Yubin, established Chinese Catholic Federation for the Biblical Apostolate. Its main role is to promote biblical activities in Taiwan. Hence, Chinese Catholic Federation for the Biblical Apostolate established itself as a platform for learning and sharing among its members which include all biblical associations of the seven dioceses in Taiwan. It also enhances cooperation and mutual support among members for biblical pastoral activities and for the work of evangelization. Now, let's see some of the biblical activities in Taiwan during recent years. Biblical Seminar We consider biblical seminars are the basic and thus very important for promoting the Word of God and other Biblical activities. Biblical Association of each diocese in Taiwan has been hosting numerous Biblical seminars on different topics. These seminars help the Catholics to find and understand the meanings behind the Biblical texts and thus increase their interest to engage in Biblical reading or studies which in turn will nurture their spiritual lives. Training for Bible Study Group Leader Answering the need for a trained personnel to lead Bible study groups, each Dalsian Biblical Association 
held Bible study group leader trainings. A Bible group leader should be the one who loves the Bible, a spiritual and a prayerful person who is willing to lead and serve the group. The training would increase different methods of reading the Bible reading, group management, experience sharing, leadership building, just to mention a few. Bible storytelling for kids. Everyone loves to hear stories, so are the children. Biblical stories help children and adults as well to experience and to understand that they are loved by God. Bible storytelling activities for kids began several years ago in Gaosheng Diocese and later followed by other diocese. After reading or listening to biblical stories, children are to retell the theme by their own words. Sometimes by doing so, they are bringing the stories into their own world. We have witnessed that there have been good participation and cooperation between Sunday school teachers and parents in preparing children for the program. Bible Contest for High School Students Inspired by a TV program, GIE Diocese, in cooperation with SVD Youth Office, took the initiative to introduce this activity to the youth of Taiwan. Biblical and Genesis question banks are prepared by the team and made available for all. Prior to the program, parish youth would evolve in intense and long reading preparation, and during the program, they came in groups bringing Bibles with them. Although the contests were full of challenges, but the youth found it interesting and would look forward for the next one. Bible stories in painting. Biblical arts are very rich in themes. Biblical Association in Kaohsiung promoted this activity first, then followed by Xinzhu and Taipei. The participants express their beliefs in paintings, which are profoundly meaningful, and attract others to appreciate the deep meaning of the Word of God and to translate it into their own lives. Gospel. During the COVID-19 pandemic, all activities came into a halt. Biblical associations in Taiwan, in line with Lecture Divina, promoted a static activity, handwriting the Gospels. Many Catholics participated in the activity, which produced over 2,000 sets, each four books. Reading the Bible in an original mother tongue while Mandarin is commonly used as a national language in Taiwan, there are 16 Aboriginal groups with their own decent languages. However, many young Aborigines are urbanized and thus forget their own mother tongues. This program has invited the young to come back to their own roots where they first met their loving God and to appreciate the beauty of their own languages. The Biblical in Calligraphy and Pens Celebrating the Year of the Word of God, Biblical Association of Taipei Archdiocese organized an exhibition of Bible in Chinese calligraphy and pens. This activity attracted a number of participants, and their arts were exhibited in three different locations. Thomas Zhong, Archbishop of Taipei, offered his deep appreciation of the exhibition. Life Testimony of the Word After the resurrection, the disciples went around bearing witness of the risen Lord, and thus the church was born. In our days, the Catholics are also expected to bear the same witness of the risen Lord, to share how the Word of God has changed their lives. This program, which initiated by Biblical Association of Kaohsiung was meant to prepare Catholics to be missionaries to bring others to the Lord. Bible Contest Bible Contest has gained popularity in recent years in Taiwan. The program was set to help Catholics to read different books of the Bible every year. The contests were first held in every diocese and then held nationally. 
Catholics from age over 10 can join. The largest biblical contest to note was in Kaohsiung, which attracted about 700 people to participate. Bringing the Bible into the prison Archbishop John Hong, SVD initiated prison missionary some years back, and since then there are over 300 Catholics regularly visiting prisoners bringing the Bible with them. In 2012, the first biblical contest for prisoners was held in Kaohsiung. Those inmates did prepare for the contest, since the winner of the contest would have some parallel advantages. Other contests were also held in women's prison. The Word of God has been the source of strength for those prisoners. Lecture Divina The topic of Lecture Divina has been addressed in two consecutive national biblical gatherings in Taiwan. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Chinese Catholic Federation for the Biblical Apostolate has been actively promoting Lecture Divina. It is expected that Catholics don't only have the knowledge of the Bible, but that they are encountering God through His Word. The Lecture Divina is held weekly online. Apart from Catholics of Taiwan, there are also a number of Catholics from Malaysia and Macau participate in the program. The Word of God through social media Many spend time on social media for news or entertainment. Nevertheless, many Catholic groups indicated themselves to use social media, such as biblical APPs, Facebook, podcasts, or YouTube to promote the Bible and its values. The spiritual director of Chinese Catholic Federation for the Biblical Apostolate, Father Tarsus SVD, for instance, in cooperation with Radio Veritas Asia, has daily biblical programs on YouTube, council meetings and national gatherings. As a biblical platform in Taiwan, council members of Chinese Catholic Federation for the Biblical Apostolate have regular meetings every three months. During the pandemic, meetings okay. were held online. Since 2004, all the dances in Taiwan took turn to host national biblical gatherings. This year, due to COVID-19 pandemic, national gathering was held online with participants about 265 coming from Taiwan, Hong Kong, Malaysia, and Macau. Lecture Divina was the major subject to address. And at the end, words of God and Eucharist are cause of Catholic spiritual life. During COVID-19 pandemic, the Word of God has been accompanying to pass through its period of darkness. The Word of God comes to us through different devices, thanks to the contribution of Internet technology. We pray that the pandemic will come to its end and people can live in peace again. Okay, thank you for this video. And now I will leave the floor to both of you to present your uh, your Taiwan city or region. Father <laughs> Tassis, go ahead. <laughs> uh, good evening, all. The what we are uh, what we want to present. It was. Uh, Summarize, we can say, summarize in the uh, the uh, short presentation. Uh, and the, uh, our activities here in Taiwan for the Biblical uh, uh, Federation of uh, Biblical Apostolic in Taiwan uh, it consists of six uh, different dioceses, and each diocese has its own biblical associations. And we are working, working together and uh, to promote, promote promote the biblical activities as we have seen in the uh, presentation so i think our presentation was there as what we have seen in the uh, the the sort of presentation 
Okay, thank you. So, uh, Ms. Teresa, are you going to add something? Well, I'm very happy to have uh, to be the member of the uh, this position because I can see different uh, operation of the diocese of so uh, biblical associations. And we share each other what the other have and then what we can do further. So we learn uh, each other when we meet. And also we have uh, frequent uh, connection and conversation uh, into uh, through uh, mobile uh, APPs. So we are pretty uh, close a group. And also I visit them uh, uh, often to help them and see them and encourage, encourage them. And Father tells us, uh, a biblical expert uh, were, was 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 uh, invited very often uh, to each diocese to have a uh, biblical lecture uh, seminars. So he's very very welcomed. So I think uh, Tarsus Father Tarsus and I uh, play in a different role, uh, but at the end to help each diocese uh, biblical association uh, operation. Thank you. So, Miss Yvonne, please, could you uh, comment on the uh, on the comment of uh, Father Alberto Rosa? Yes, yes, sure. Hey, hello, Father Rosa. Good to hear from you, and um, yeah, good to know that you know uh, uh, you're willing to participate. You know, it seems like we were a bit lost in the uh, prior uh, correspondences, email correspondences. But sure, we'll keep you posted in terms of the CBF, especially the northeastern region activities, and we look forward to all the collaborations. So it seems that Father Joseph Fung is back between us. Hello, do you? Can hello, you hello. Welcome, welcome back. Welcome, <laughs> welcome. It was we, we, we must we must give a big hand to Father Joseph. <laughs> you know, he yes. tried at least a dozen times in trying to get onto because this is a new platform for him. Yeah, so I'll pass the stage for to you, Amar, to interview Father Joseph on UCCBA. Thank you. Thanks to you, dear. Um, Father Joseph, I would like first to present you Father Joseph uh, Fung Cheo, a Hong Kong diocesan a priest. He's a previous diocesan director of Hong Kong Catholic Biblical Association. He's the coordinator of United Chinese uh, Catholic Biblical Association, and he has over 30 years of pastoral ministry at different parishes in Hong Kong. So, Father uh, Joseph, as the coordinator of the United Chinese Catholic Biblical Association, would you tell us more about it? And how is it, it's, how is its structure and what are the member associations? So, the, that's not the beginning, so, uh, more than 20 years ago about 20 years ago, some group of the Chinese representatives, they joined to the CBF and all the district meeting, the conference, uh, maybe Asia or Southeast Asia. Then they, they thought that the Chinese people could be grouped together to have uh, these kinds of uh, uh, meeting to promote the biblical ministry. Then they start uh, the union of Chinese, Catholic Chinese uh, biblical association. And then following, uh, we promote, and the main uh, three places uh, established the, the, the union is the Hong Kong, Taiwan, and Singapore. And then time passed fast. The first, the first uh, created uh, the peace, the bishop, they, they left, or some of them, they back to the kingdom of God in heaven. Huh? So I, I continue to follow uh, the step of them. The last meeting was held in Hong Kong 2018 
the end of the 2018, we have um, the, some places, of, for example, the Macau, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Singapore, Indonesia, and Malaysia, Australia, and sometimes if the peace and sister or the people from the mainland China, if they they have uh, allowed to come, then they they came they came to join the the meeting. So this is the past, and after the conference, the last meeting in two thousand eighteen in Hong Kong, then all of us uh, went back to our places, and then following is the uh, you know uh, the places in Hong Kong, there's a political incidents, and later on the worldwide paramedic, all this influenced the, the society of Hong Kong, and then all the maybe influenced very seriously, including the Paris ministry. Up to now, we need to, uh, and another big problem is in the past two years, our diocese, P, our diocese bishops was emptied. No bishops here. No the diocese bishop to, to to guide us here. So, from my opinion, now up to now, we need to try our best. Where uh, under the blessing from the Holy Spirit to connect it, the different places again. But nowadays, they, the, the, F, the, the, the FABC, they, they wanted to have the uh, conference uh, next year. I guess I will not go because the pandemic virus it's not easy to go out, and if I come back here, I will lose much time to quarantine. So, it is my opinion. the The best way is uh, now we start to connect. It. The, this week, even our our member, our local Hong Kong diocese, we have tried our best, very hard. To, to connect the, the people here. This is what I experienced and let you all know the same as you, we face the difficulties. Okay. Yeah, of course, all of us, we are facing difficulties about the pandemic, but what can we do? So thank you very much. If you finished, then... Uh, we will come back with all our speakers. I would like to give you uh, just a few minutes to say a last word, maybe. If you, any one of, uh, of you would like to say something at the end before we close our session. Yvonne, and then the others, maybe? Yeah, sure, yeah. Um, um, even though, you know, our coordinator, Father Peter Lowe, is not with us, I'm sure uh, he's very happy to see that we could all uh, join up via uh, online and also with uh, other members like uh, Father Rosa, also with us. So uh, we look forward to um, a continuous um, uh, coordination within the world, and then um, uh, we look and, and we learn from each other uh, all the you know exciting experiences on serving the world. Thank you all. Okay, so if, uh, there are no. Yes, please, Father Tars, Tarsisius, please. You want to intervene? Yes. Uh. Yes, I'm, I'm also very happy that we are able to be connected again. 
our last meeting of the Northeast Asia region of CBF. It was how many years ago, Yvonne? About three, four years ago. Uh, That's right. And I think now, yeah, now with the help of this uh, uh, IT technology, maybe we can uh, we can also organize sometimes. Uh, maybe in six months or one year, we can can have a sharing together online, like what we are doing now. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That would be okay. great. Thank you. Good. Really amazing. Uh, very interesting activities, and I saw the a very rich uh, region in uh, in. Uh, um, in, accord in accordance with the Bible and the activities of the Bible. So thank you all for your uh, speeches and for what you are doing. And since there are no questions, I can uh, say that we are closing this session, thanking all of you for being with us. Thank you. Thank God you bless. all. Merry Christmas. God bless. Merry Christmas to all of you. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 -bye. Bye. Let's stay online. I think um, Father Yang.